Poetry Writing for Kids. Topic 2 How to Write a Shape Calligram Poem. A poem can be a collection of words that expresses feelings or ideas, sometimes with a specific meaning, sound, or rhythm. A shape poem describes an object, person, or animal. The words of the poem take the shape of the object, person, or animal being described. Shape poems are sometimes also called calligram or concrete poems. Shape poems can be written in three different ways. You can either write your poem on the outline of your subject, inside the outline of your subject, or use the words of your poem to create an image. The cool thing about shape poems is that they don't have to rhyme, as long as they are about your subject. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here is an example of a poem written on the outline of a subject. This poem is based on a nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle, and is written by Patrick Winstanley. If you look closely, you can see the author creates a circle to represent the moon, and the word cow is seen jumping over the moon. Pretty cool, huh? Here is an example of a poem written inside the outline of a subject. This poem is called Apple, and it's written by Ray Hart Dull. This poem shows the word apple written over and over again inside the outline of an apple. Here is an example of a poem written using words to create an image. This poem is called Easter Wings and was written by George Herbert. If you look closely, you can see two wings created with the words of the poem. Now. I will write my own shape poem. First, I will need to brainstorm a subject for my poem. I think I will write about stars. Then, I will need to decide how I will write my shape poem. Will I write my poem on the outline of a star, inside the outline of a star, or will I use my words to create the image of a star? Hmm. I think I will write my poem on the outline of a star. Next, I will write the words of my poem. Shining so brightly in the sky, a guiding light to passers-by, wishing upon your beauty tonight. Awesome! I have the words for my poem. Now for the last step. Last. I will put my words on the outline of a star. Great! I have a plan for my poem. Let's put it all together. Here I have my poem. I can use the outline of a star to help me shape my words on the outline. Let's try it! That looks so cool! I used the outline of a star and wrote my words around the outline. When I remove the outline, I am left with my shape poem, shaped as a star. Now my poem is complete. Now it's your turn to write a shape poem. First, you will need to brainstorm a subject for your poem. Then. You will need to decide how you will write your shape poem. Will you write your poem on an outline, inside of an outline, or will you use words to create an image? Next, you will need to write the words of your poem. Last, you will need to write your words based on how you have decided to write your shape poem. Would you like to learn how you could write any type of poem? Then be sure to check out the next video in this series called Writing a Free Verse Poem to learn how to write your own free verse poem from start to finish. If you like this video, then check out Miss Dorsman's Virtual Corner for even more. If you are a teacher, you can follow Miss Dorsman's Virtual Corner on Instagram, Pinterest, 
Facebook, and TPT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.